I completely forgot to say this, but uh, spoilers. This should be obvious, but spoilers. I feel the warmth of your skin. I feel the touch of your hand. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it is your first time here. Hi, my name is Missa. Welcome, subscribe, go follow me on Instagram. Way cuter over there. I actually haven't brushed my hair today. I put it in a bun to go to sleep and I'm like, wow, it doesn't look that bad. Also, I hate doing my hair so I've not touched it and we're just pretending. And I think I've put this top on wrong. It's one of these like asymmetric ones but I really cannot work out how to put it on. I think this might even be the butt, but, but, but. Anyway, as you can see by the title, I'm kind of interrupting drugstore appreciation time. I will hopefully have one more video up on Sunday, which will be Full Face First Impressions. But today, I'm unboxing this bad boy, because it just arrived in the post, I think yesterday or the day before, and I thought, ooh, Christmas before Halloween. But I thought maybe some people would like to see what's inside. I certainly would. I don't have the the uh, patience to wait and open it. Plus, I'm gonna be away for quite a bit of December and so I thought I would just open it now. Hopefully there's some goodies in there that I really like and what I don't like, I will just give away to other people. So I don't think we should fanny around. And if you wanna see what's inside the Glossy Box 2019 Advent Calendar, keep on watching. I also unboxed this last year. So if you wanna kind of see what was in last year's and think, see if this one's any better, then I will link it up there, but it's probably horrible because any video that's more than a week old from me, I cringe at, so yeah, let's jump into it. I should probably tell you some information about this before we begin, that would be helpful. So it's already out for sale, it's still in stock as of filming it. It's got 25 doors, 15 of the products are full size. It's apparently worth over 370 pounds, and if you're already a Glossy Box subscriber, it's £70. If you're just a regular person like me, it's £80. However, I did get this for free. They just sent it to me even though I don't subscribe to Glossy Box. But I think it's just because I have a friend who has a friend who's in the know. So they send me things. So let's have a look inside. I've not watched any other videos. I've not looked at the information leaflet. I've not done anything, spoiler-wise. So, do you know, it was only the other day I... Um, throughout the packaging for the the last year's one. I did um, recycle it, but you know what I mean. And just like last year, it is all little boxes in kind of shelves, but so yeah, I don't think if I pull any out, many will fall down, but anyway, let's begin. I don't want this video to be too long. This is number one, and it does say on the front, Psst, number 25 is behind me, so there will be another box. There we go. So. Let's just do it. I'm just going to say one and then show you the product because if not, I'll be here forever. Ba -dum -bum. Okay, item number one is the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. This one is in warm neutrals, so it's a very, very neutral palette, as you can imagine. Quite nice. Not my cup of tea, but I know someone that will really, really enjoy this. So this is in door number one. Don't know how much they usually are. What, £15 or so? Door number two. Here. Box number two is a box. It is a sample of Chloe Nomad perfume. I think this one's quite nice, I quite like it. It's five mils, so it's not absolutely teeny tiny. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this. How cute is that? That's nice. I mean, it's perfume. I can't describe it to you because I'm really bad at those things, but it's quite a nice perfume. Number three looks like a chunky monkey, just like me. I like fat boxes. Ooh. So it's it's a glossy box branded sponge. I'm gonna have to see what this feels like. Oh, I like the shape. Very, very firm. Very firm. I'm sure it will soften a little bit when you add water to it, but I'm not even gonna try because I just I just know I won't enjoy this sponge. I'm very particular. But again, I know someone who will like that. So that is behind door number three. Number four. It's a pencil. Number four is a full size nude sticks. Is it nude sticks? Yeah, lip and cheek pencil in the shade 
Mystic. It's like quite a, a dark nude. I ignore my nail polish. Quite a dark nude. Lip and cheek. Nude sticks are really good quality. Box doesn't need to be that big, but I understand why it is. Number five is up here. This one feels a bit weightier. I like that. I've opened it upside down. So this is a hand cream body shop wild argan oil. You're guaranteed to get one of these in every single beauty advent calendar. If it's not these, it's going to be L'Occitane brand. Personally, I don't use hand cream, but many people do again. I don't think I've ever used a hand cream. I don't like my hands feeling slippery and slidey. But there you go. I think that's full size, 30 mils. Number six. Box number six is a Luxie brush. We got a Luxie brush in our box, in our advent calendar last year. This is the 207 medium angled shading. I have very shaky hands if you're new here. So it's an eyeshadow brush, an angled one. I like the quality of Luxie brushes. I think they are really good. This isn't a particular brush that I would use, but again, it's a really good handy thing to have. And again, the quality of Luxie is really good. Although I think they are very much overpriced. Number seven. Oh, wow. This is something I'll be keeping. Number seven is an LA Splash um, glitter liner. This is in the shade Rosalie. Rosaline. I've got one in Hermione already. Let me give it a wee swatch. These are great if you do like black liner and then layer these on top because it's semi sheer, it's pretty sheer. I don't know if you can see, it's a really pretty like rose gold glitter and it's got some much smaller glittery pieces in it and then it's got some much chunkier pieces so you could put it all over your eyelid or you could just put it over liner or use it as liner. That's nice. We'll be keeping. How mad would you be if someone opened an advent calendar and didn't do it in order? Number eight. It's a box in a box. So this is the... MUA Pro Base Primer Oil. This is one that's got the little gold flakes in it, kind of YSL-esque. Is it YSL or Lancome? I can't, I can't remember. I've actually got this already, so I don't need it. It's nice. Um, I don't really like oils for under makeup, but there you are. That is that. It's not a very high ticket item, but it's in there. I do like MUA. I've just done a sponsored post with them on Instagram. Number nine. Another nice weighty box. Ooh. And it's wrapped in tissue paper. It's not tissue paper, it's quite heavy paper. Ooh. Oh no. So I thought it was like a little mini Chanel perfume. It's not, it's Mitchell and Peach Flora Number no. One Bath Oil. I quite like bath oils. Um, don't particularly like the smell of that. But it's, it would be nice in a bath, I guess. I really like the L'Occitane bath oil. Blended in England with pure essential oils from the Mitchell estate. That's nice. Bath oils are very indulgent. I do like that. You do feel quite a princess or a prince when you use them. 10. This is an old classic. This is Sleek Birthday Suit Matte Me Liquid Lipstick. It does come out a pinch lighter than what it looks like in the tube. I do like the colour. It's not my cup of tea anymore, but I used to wear this religiously, but it does suit a lot of different skin tones. So that's Birthday Suit by Barry M. It's not by Barry M, it's by Sleek. Again, not another high ticket item, but nude liquid lipsticks are essential in anyone's makeup bag. So there you go. Am I just being mean about this? I feel like I'm not saying the nice things, but I'm just trying to give my honest opinion. Okay, number 11. I'm just trying to work out if I would pay 80 pounds for it, you know. So number 11 is a more expensive brand, although this looks like a deluxe size sample. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day in the Shower Styler. So this is probably good if you've got like naturally nice hair. Unlike me, my hair dries poker straight, like straighter than if I put straighteners in it. Um, so this is 30 mils and you apply in shower to clean wet hair generously coat from root to ends, lightly towel rins, and apparently your hair will dry perfectly styled. I don't know how that's possible and I'm not going to put it to the test, but it's a good brand. Also their stuff smells really nice, so yeah, I do like their shampoo and conditioner, and whenever I use it, I think, wow, this shower is costing me like a hundred pounds. It's not, but you know what I mean. 
Number 12. So this is by Winky Lux. This is probably my first makeup product by Winky Lux. First product by Winky Lux. It's called the Unibrow, which makes me think, Unibrow, Unibrow? So this is the Winky Lux Unibrow Universal Brow Pencil. So yeah, spoolie on one end. And then what shape are you? So it's kind of like the ABH Brow Definer or the Benefit, what's it called, Goof Proof? It's quite a teardrop shape. It's a universal colour, apparently a universal pencil, but I'm not sure that would suit people with red hair or super blonde hair or very, very dark hair, but I mean, you wouldn't know that till you try it, I guess. Number 13. Oh, this is very heavy. Oh, and it's wrapped again in papier. So this is by Dr. Dennis Gross and this is a professional grade IPL dark spot concentrated serum. Um, it doesn't have instructions, but if it's a dark spot concentrated serum, I imagine it's for getting rid of dark spots. I'll probably keep that 7 mils, so it's probably a sample size, even though some of these things are really tinsy. I want to give it a smell. Ooh, it smells very strongly of licorice, actually, which I should have realised. What number was that? 13, 14, down here in the corner. Another heavy box. And again, wrapped in paper. I like that, it feels more more like a present. So this is the Mina, I think that's how you pronounce that brand. I used to say 3INA, I'm not sure. It's called The Cream Eyeshadow and it's in the shade 313. Oh, that is a pretty Christmas party kind of colour. It's like a rose gold copper. I've not tried a lot of stuff from this brand. It's kind of mediumly priced, um, which kind of puts me off because I don't know like who to compare them to really, but that looks pretty. I'm not going to swatch it though because I have so many creamy, liquidy eyeshadows that I'll never get around to using that, but I can see a lot of people enjoying that over the festive season. 15. Got a light one. We got a light one. Something pink though. This is the Cura Prox BU Candy Lover Water melon or water plus melon toothpaste i like that it's pink i like that it's for candy lovers i'll probably keep this put it in my travel travel bag for going on holidays so i can brush my teeth at the airport if i really want to or on the plane or wherever people brush their teeth when they feel like they need to because it's a cute little travel size it does have a little like watermelon symbol on it but it does say water plus melon so i don't know if it tastes like watermelon but that would be quite weird, I guess, for your toothpaste to taste like watermelon. But the packaging is very adorable and I do like that. So yeah, that is a little mini toothpaste. 16 here. 16 is a Nude by Nature product. This is a Touch of Glow highlight stick. Five grams in 01 champagne. So could potentially work for my skin or might not. I feel like that is probably too dark for me. I might be able to get away with it, but you can see on my hands how pale I really am. So I think that might be a little bit too dark, but it's cute. I've never actually tried anything from Nude by Nature. It's just not a brand that really appeals to me. I find them a little expensive and not having tried them before, I am not sure of the quality. Their soles are like look fantastic. I think Debenhams and John Lewis, things like that. But it's very cute, very travel friendly, but yeah, the full size probably costs quite a lot of money because like I said, I do find them quite expensive, but then I'm a Scottish person and so stingy. 17 is really heavy. What is it? Oh, I love this brand. It reminds me of Christmas and getting Rituals Christmas gift sets. This is a Rituals Ritual of Sakura Magic Touch Body Cream. I think it's full size, it's 100 mils. I wish it was a shower gel or like a bath, bubble bath, but it's a body cream. So then I got a hand cream and a body cream. That's why I'm saying I wish this was something different. Um, Again, I've never used a body cream or a body lotion or a body butter in my life. 
it's just and that's one extra step too much for me i've had a shower i'm clean i don't need to then lather myself again but that's just me i'm very very lazy as well as being stingy however the rituals of sakura i do think smell incredible oh i just like it just smells like a rich old lady you know what i mean in the best way possible now we're on to number 18 I think I'm going to be able to film this all in one take. This is something I have about a thousand of. I really like this lip balm brand. This is Dr. Pawpaw. This is the original multi-purpose balm. You can use this all over yourself, kind of like Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. Like you can put it on your cuticles, on your hands, on your lips, on your butt if you really wanted to. 10 mils, fragrance free. I like it. I prefer the tinted ones just because it's kind of like no makeup makeup but I do really like this lip balm. I don't need it because I've got the big massive full size ones of all the different variants but it is a nice lip balm. It's nicer than something like Carmex or Vaseline but it's not quite as nice as a like really posh lip balm so it's kind of somewhere in between. 19. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm keeping this. This is very, very expensive. I think this is full size. This is a 50 mils Avant. I think, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. It's definitely not, um, <laughs> probably not anyway. It's the Avant Hyaluronic Jojoba Oil. They really make things hard to, to read because they do it like um, Diptyque do where it's all spaced out really weird. Anyway, it's the Pro Intense Hyaluronic Acid Illuminating Day Cream. I am not giving this to anyone. This is about £100. It's about £95 or £100 for this bottle of moisturiser day cream. If you think anyone is getting this, you're wrong. You're lucky if I spend three pounds on a bottle of simple moisturizer so i'm keeping this definitely 20. Ooh, it's weighty as well inside number 20. oh that's pretty so it's not a high ticket item but it is by barry m and not sleek i got it right uh, this is a blusher palette by barry m it's got four different shades one of them is a little bit sparkly which i like they're all very peachy toned I'm probably going to keep this just because I don't have a Barry M blush and this looks nice. This is probably what, five or six pounds, maybe six or seven. Barry M, I like the quality of their products. Oh, no, I can't open it. I can't open it. Just gonna open it. Do a wee swatch of them. Gosh, that is pretty pigmented for blush, isn't it? Those two look really, really similar, but this one's very shimmery. I really like that one and that one, although it's very yellow. Yeah, that's nice. I'm obviously keeping it since I've swatched it. Moving on. 21 is Mahuse. What secrets are you hiding? Woo! We're getting some nice skincare brands in here. This is the Dermalogica Daily Super Exfoliant. I think this is the one that's like powder and you mix it on your hands with water and it becomes like a foam. So it's a highly active resurfacer delivering your smoothest skin ever and helps fight biochemical, that sounds terrifying, and environmental triggers known to accelerate aging skin. Anti-polluting, resurfacing, that's nice. Um, will I keep it? Probably not, but you know, that's a really nice thing to get. Dermalogica is expensive. I don't know if it's full size, it's 13 grams, 22. I was just thinking the other day how much I've wanted to try this but never have. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. It's a deluxe mini for sure, it's tiny. I wonder how many, how, 0 0.2 mils. I don't really scoff at that amount because the liquid liner can last you quite a long time and I know that this one's got really good reviews. Is it her tattoo or trooper? Tattoo liner. No, I'm pretty sure this is her classic one. Like I said, I've never tried it, so I'm probably going to keep this so that I can try it because that would be nice to try and not have to spend the money on uh, her other one. 23. Let's see if I can do this before my camera cuts out. We had a red lip gloss by this guy, this brand, <laughs> in our last box. It's Steve Laurent, I guess. Um, this is a lip gloss it says lip gloss on it 
not a pot of lip gloss surely it says cherry on the back oh wow it's a pot of lip gloss i will say the packaging is very very pretty and it's like a solid lip gloss um i like the packaging a lot i didn't like the lip gloss in last year's one i'm pretty sure it was in last year's but yeah that's that's cute i can imagine a lot of people just putting put, using it i guess um not my cup of tea but then not everything is i'm quite picky so for christmas eve you've got another weighty box which is always nice oh it's wrapped up again what could it be i think it's nail polish it is indeed this is be your ink readable self by nails inc this is a really pretty metallic gold nail polish it's in the shade golden days ahead it is full size i like nails inc and um, with a good top coat like the what's called sechevit top coat i think they last quite a long time um yeah it's nice not my kind of color i don't think i've ever had gold nails unless it's glitter but it's for sure a really christmasy kind of color and for that it gets eight points out of ten can't start grading things on the 24th day and last but not least i'm hoping this is the best in last year's advent calendar we got a full size huda beauty highlighter palette so i'm very excited to see what is in this i'm hoping for like oh it's heavy it's very heavy i'm hoping for like a really nice eyeshadow palette maybe a nice highlight palette oh what else maybe like a set of lipsticks or something i don't know could be anything it is a palette oh my lord oh my goodness what this is the Tarte Parkav Princess Chisel Palette. Holy macaroni! Oh my goodness. Well, if you think I'm giving this to anyone else, you're absolutely crazy. I'm much, like, it's so expensive to get um, Tarte over here because you can only get it on QVC. That's a faff I always find. Oh my goodness. The packaging is so beautiful. Oh, oh I think I'm going to lose my mind. That is very lovely, very, very lovely. Got like two highlight shades, two medium contours, and then two deeper contours. I'll never use those two, but I will use these four, and I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep it for my full face first impressions that I'm gonna do next week that isn't drugstore, that's just more expensive makeup. Wow, chiseled like a diamond. I hope I will be. That is probably the most beautiful packaging. Like that's raised. That's copper. Oh, it's tart. I have barely any tart because it is again so expensive, a little bit hard to get here. And this, oh, how much is this? Like on its own. I can't find it on the Tarte website, but it is on QVC with a brush for 42 pounds. So it's probably about 30, 35 pounds because obviously they've, they've got a brush going with it as well. I am very excited about this. I love contour palettes. They are a little bit of an obsession of mine. I'm gonna shut up because I'm trying not to talk too much, but yeah, oh, that is exciting. I like that. So that is everything that is in the Glossy Box 2019 Advent Calendar. I've got to say, I'm quite impressed by this advent calendar. Out of 25 days, I'm keeping five things. Um, I, at a push, I probably would have kept, say, seven to ten. But the other things don't really interest me that much. I've either got very similar things or just my collection is at the point where I can't really store any more makeup. But I know people, I think what I actually might do is just from the five days that I've stolen stuff out of, um, refill them with other new makeup and give it to my niece for Christmas and then she can enjoy unboxing beauty products every day and stuff that maybe she wouldn't even like, like the hand cream and stuff, I'll take that out and then put other like cooler makeup in it that she would like, like I'm looking at my giveaway box down there and there's so much stuff in there that she would like so I could refill some of the other boxes that i don't think an 18 year old would be interested in and then she can open a box a day it's probably quite cheeky but it won't be her christmas present just an extra present 
And that's the thing with these advent calendars, even if you don't love everything that you get, you can keep it all and then if you're maybe making an advent calendar for someone, you can re-gift these things or if you just have one of those drawers or boxes where you put unwanted beauty products, put it in there and then when your friends come around they can have their pick. So yeah, I think it's a nice calendar. I guess the question is would I personally pay £80 for this or £70 if I was a Glossy Box subscriber? Do you know what, as a Christmas treat or asking for it as a Christmas present, I probably would. At the same time, I'm kind of torn because it's one of those things where, oh, I don't know, there's so many things in it that I wouldn't personally use. So I don't know, it's a bit hard. I hate these lashes, by the way, they're the new Huda Beauty hoodie lashes. And they're not even like symmetrical, which really annoys me. Anyway, let me know down below if you're gonna buy it, if you have, if you will, if you won't, let me know why. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and also if you wanna see more advent calendar unboxings as they arrive to me or as I buy them to unbox, let me know. Leave me a comment down below like I said and subscribe to my channel because it's a nice thing to do and we're so close to 50k and that's a, a nice Christmas present from you to me. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I'll catch you on Sunday for my next video. And with that, I'm gonna piss off and I hope I'll see you on the flip side.